man, nice, loud voices. I love this. Maybe we don't need a, a voice warm up at all. Um, as she said, I'm a speech language pathologist, and that's a lot of what I do is helping people to be nice and loud and strong so that you can jump into conversations when you want, when, you know, to be able to communicate the great thoughts and ideas that you have. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna talk a little bit about why working on your voice is important um, and, and why we're going to speak with intent today. So we'll go with the next slide. So when you're driving down the road, if you're driving from the grocery store to your house, you might not really think about where you're going or how you're driving. But as soon as it starts to pour rain, what do you do when you're driving? If you're driving in your car, if it starts to rain, you might sit up a little bit. You might really focus on the road. You're driving with intent. You're really focusing on what you're doing. So what we're gonna do in the next couple of minutes is we're gonna think about and be intentional about how we're speaking. And really, I would challenge you to be intentional about everything that you do. So how we walk, how we talk, where we're focused when we're having conversation. So we're gonna use our intent, and let's talk about why this works. So, perfect. So this is a diagram of our brain where the yellow sections are the brainstem, the outside pink areas are the outside areas of our brain. If you look, when we're doing things out of habit and not really thinking about it, then the signals go to a lot of the areas of your brain stem and the center of your brain, and that needs dopamine to work. But if we start to use intent, and we really pay attention to what we're doing, we bypass those areas. We don't care if they have dopamine or not, because we're using the, the intentional portions of our brain, the cortex. So that is why paying attention, using intent, can help you do things a little better, a little bit more easily. So we're gonna practice this. So we're gonna warm up a little bit and move after we've had a nice full belly of good food. So on the next slide, we're gonna see that we're gonna start with our breath. And these are exercises you can take home and do every day. So if you're sitting in your chair, make sure your feet are flat on the floor. Our feet actually, our feet help to support a good, strong breath. So if you would like to, you can put your hand on your belly because we're going to practice pulling our breath in through our nose and down to our belly. So you can picture a balloon in your belly that you're blowing up as you breathe in. So we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose and out through your mouth. Good. So our shoulders should be relaxed. We're gonna take a gentle breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. You're gonna do that about five times. We're gonna do a couple more. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And you really want to feel your belly moving when you pull that air in through your nose, down into your belly, and out through your mouth. Good. We're going to use that breath when we speak. Now we're going to use intent with how we say our words. So we're going to, the next one, it says voice warm up. We're going to together take that good deep breath, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it first, and then I want you to join in the next time. So we'll take a deep breath to our belly and say, may, me, my, mo, moo. 
use intent when we say it the next time. Really think about all of your movements. Deep breath in. May, me, my, mo, moo. Look at how strong that sounds. Let's do that again, nice and strong. I want to wow everybody that's listening. Good deep breath in. May, me, my, mo, moo. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Good deep breath in. May, me, my, mo, moo. Did you hear your good, strong voice when you said those words? Yes? No? I heard a no. We're going to try to keep that. I heard some really good, strong voices. You want to hear that same strong voice when we say these phrases. So each day you can go through these exercises. Take a good deep breath in, warm up with some good may, me, my, mo, and moo, and then transition it into phrases that you use every day. So I put some phrases that we all probably use every day and you may use today as you meet new people or see old friends. So the first phrase we're gonna practice with is hello. So I want you to take a deep breath in and with intent say hello. Nice and loud, I love it. The next one we're gonna say is how are you? And I don't want it to sound like a robot. I want you to meet somebody new and say, how are you? So deep breath. How are you? Very good, good. So you may meet somebody new and you're gonna want to nice and strong and with intent say, it was nice meeting you. So let's practice that together. Deep breath. It was nice meeting you. Great. And then you may see an old friend and you might want to say, it was great seeing you again. So good deep breath. It was great seeing you again. Perfect. So those are some good exercises you can practice every day. The thought of using intent comes from a program developed by the Parkinson's Voice Project. And we incorporate that into an intensive one-on-one -on -one speech therapy program called Speak Out. And you might have heard of LSVT or Lee Silverman Voice Therapy. Speak Out is very similar, but it comes from a little bit of a different theory of using intent that I explained earlier. So, after you do four weeks of therapy with a speech therapist one-on-one, -on -one, then you transition to a weekly maintenance group to be able to practice those good skills that you learned with other people in a social situation. And you can continue that, that group loud crowd, which is what it's called, is to be loud in a crowd, but you can continue that maintenance therapy for as long as you would like. So this is, I just wanted to introduce a, another alternative for speech therapy to be able to help either maintain and keep your good strong voice or help to boost your volume and boost your breath support to be able to carry on those great conversations with your loved ones. So um, I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. Please feel free to reach out and I can connect you um, with a speech therapist that can provide you information on any of these programs or you could, we can work together. All right, so thank you all. I appreciate being able to come here today and we'll continue to have a great day and we're gonna finish today off with intent.